new details about one of the people killed in a deadly plane crash in New Hampshire. Friends say what they know about the victim makes the crash an even bigger mystery. The eye openers Erica Tarantel here with that. Erica? Emily Randy, two people were killed in that crash, and this morning authorities have still yet to release the identity of the passenger in the plane. We know the pilot was a beloved member of the Kingston community. He even had a town report dedicated to him for his service, and he had a lifetime of flight experience. 77 year old Dave Ingalls is described as the consummate aviator, the mailbox outside his home even reflecting his passion for flying. He's a very knowledgeable, very capable pilot. Neighbor George Korn was friends with Ingalls for some 40 years. He says this is the last thing he'd expect. It was his vocation as well as his avocation. He was a commercial airline pilot for all of his life. For TWA. It was Monday morning when Ingalls' single engine Cessna appeared to stall on takeoff, then plummet at Hampton Airfield in Northampton. After a slight uh, climb, it veered hard left and ended up into uh, a series of pine trees behind me. Ingalls and his passenger had just visited the airfield on its busiest day. Planes from all over fly in for special Labor Day events. Back in Ingalls' hometown, the sudden tragedy leaves a deep void. He was on the Conservation Commission. He was part of the Kingston Lake Association. Um, he was always doing things for, through his church and for the town. Um, Dave was just the salt of the earth, and we very much will miss him. The exact cause of the crash is still under investigation. Dave Ingalls is survived by his wife, daughter, and son, who, following in his dad's footsteps, is a commercial airline pilot. Randy.